Hey everyone, this is Nandi with Nandi's Naturals. I am coming to you on day 22. And if you notice, I'm not outside today. Nope, mm -mm. it's hot out there. It's not as hot as it's been, but I have decided that I was going to do a cool day today, a cool day video. So I am doing this from my kitchen. As a matter of fact, I am actually in the kitchen leaning over the sink because this was one of the best places to get light. The crazy things you do when you're trying to video t uh, things with your cell phone, right? Just crazy. But anyway, hey, it works. So I'm not going to knock this, okay? It works. So I am going to talk to you today. For me, first of all, let me say for me. The deodorant has been fantastic. It has been living up to my expectations. I also am going to share with you the feedback from three of my volunteers. One I have is in, she lives in Louisiana. So we already know when you say Louisiana, hot, muggy, I mean everything you want to apply to it. I was born and raised there. I always call it steam bath because that's what it's like you're taking a lot of times when you walk out of the house or if you live in a house and don't happen to have air conditioning, it's a steam bath because it's it's hot and humid and muggy all wrapped up into one. <laughs> so anyway, she says that despite the heat and her take going out to run errands in the heat, walking and all the other activities that she does in a day, that the deodorant has held up well that she has not had a fail. So that makes me happy. That makes me really, really happy because I know when I lived in Louisiana using deodorants that were available to me back in the day, oh, I would hit failure a lot. I would be taking uh, two and three baths in a day, you know, <laughs> because it was like, okay, I gotta get fresh, I gotta get fresh. So the fact that it is working for her, that, I mean, that, that really makes my day. I also heard from another volunteer who is training to run a 10K which is, I'd say, what about a little over six miles. So she has been running about seven to 10 miles, I believe she says, almost every day. And during the time, she, has, she started testing about two weeks ago. So she has been using the deodorant on all her runs. And she says she has not had a fail. Now, I can't say that I would not have a fail if I ran that far, you know, because again, it goes back to body chemistry. But the fact that she has been able to get that many miles in and the deodorant is still holding up for her. I mean, man, that right there, I was like, whoa, when she said that. I mean, because it really, I mean, 7 to 10 miles and you're still okay. You're not ripe. You know, and some of y'all know what I'm talking about when I say ripe. You know, so I mean, that is very, that is very, very good. You know, and you know, the thing about deodorants are sometimes it can be so finicky that you can fail for a reason. You can get a fail and you're like, what happened? And sometimes it could just be a change in hormones that you didn't notice, you know, or something like that. But if the majority of the time your deodorant isn't failing on you, that is to me what matters the most. I would rather have a deodorant where most of the time I can, I can get done what I need to get done and my deodorant is not constantly failing me. If it's constantly failing you, then, you know, I mean, hey, that's a problem. Because, I mean, you can't really be comfortable in certain settings because you're always wondering, is it going to fail? Am I going to be okay? You know, are people going to be wondering, you know, you know, they're going to start smelling me. I'm going to get a little tart here. So, I mean, you do want something that's going to work. So like I said, her and being able to run like that, you know, and more power to her on the 10K period. I mean, anybody who gets out there and can run like that and you're going to be doing that at the time of the year where it's really, really hot, man, more power to you. My third uh, one that I'm going to share with you, she went to, she said that she had applied her deodorant about six to seven hours before she went to an event yesterday evening. Uh, I don't know how long she was at the event or what time it actually started. I didn't get to, you know, get a response from her yet as to when exactly during the event did it start to, you know, did she get the perception that she was starting to fail? Because she said what it was was she thought she sniffed something under one of her arms. Uh, she said she thought that, that there was a slight odor. She asked her husband who sniffed under her pits and, you know, told her that everything was okay. But, you know, she said she still felt like there might be some odor there despite, you know, despite that, uh, that response from him. And I'm going to tell you like this. If a woman says she smells something, she smells something. I don't care if you don't smell anything or if you think everything smells sweet or like, you know, fragrant flowers. If she says she smells something, she smells something by golly. So anyway, with that one. I guess we could say that, you know, after a certain amount of time, she maybe did smell something. I mean, because it's possible, you know. Now, I don't know whether she was wearing long, long sleeves, short sleeves, a dress, 
um, you know, what exactly she have on. I don't, I can't, I don't know if we could say it was clothing that had a scent in it that she hadn't noticed uh, from prior deodorant. I don't know. But I'm going to go on the fact that she said that she smelled a slight scent. You know, even though her husband, you know, said differently, I'm going to go with that. And that's, I mean, that's all I can do. Share that with you guys so that you know that what's going on. That I'm not just trying to make every day a fluff day, a happy day, a pass, pass, pass day. I want to know exactly what is happening. And I love the fact that the volunteers that I have are not shy about sharing with me what they're going through. Whether they have experienced a fail or whether they're pass, pass, passing. You know, because that is what's going to help me to know whether I have a good product. And that's what matters to me is having a good product. One where, like I said, someone is not wearing it and constantly failing it. You know, failing with that deodorant that they can say that, you know, well, here's an opportunity for me to try something that might actually work for me. And that's what I'm trying to make, something that might actually work for us. So that's all I have for today. If you're just coming into this series, you can catch it on our YouTube channel at Nandiya. That's N-A-N-D-I-Y-A-A. -A. You can also catch us on our Facebook page at Nandi's Naturals. Please, by all means, visit our website at www.nandisnaturals.com. Support us, invest in us. I want to thank you again, all of you, for being a part of this, for following the videos, for sharing the videos, for testing the samples. I mean, you all have been wonderful, and I really, really appreciate you. Have a great 22nd day since, you know, my 22nd day of testing it and all that. No baking soda. Doing good. Anyway, <laughs> let me stop being silly. Again, Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Nandiyah.